Hey everybody, Mac here again. I recently had a good laugh at the expense of AMD by asserting that the only way to eliminate microstutter in Armor 3 while using AMD graphics cards was to reduce settings to their absolute lowest. This had the effect of turning Arma into a pretty hot looking title for 1998. As awesome as playing Arma 3 at 320 by 240 upscaled to 640 by 480 would be, that's obviously not a viable solution. Besides that, Shack Tactical has a requirement for shadow visibility at 200 meters, and the bottoming out of objects and terrain confers some advantages in terms of what you can see because it robs the other side of cover. Not that you'd be able to see them anyway at 640x480. After spending a couple of hours slowly adjusting my settings upward from the absolute minimums, this is what I settled on. This is obviously applicable to my system, which is an i7-2600K with two HD7970s. In the General tab of your video options, set your overall quality to low. Then set textures, objects, terrain, and shadow to whatever you can get away with. Bring them up slowly and run a Fraps benchmark, then do a chart and see what your frame times look like. I was able to set overall and object visibility to 1000 meters and shadow visibility to 200 meters. Next, in the Display tab, set your resolution to whatever you can get away with. Come up to the resolutions that match your monitor's aspect ratio, 16 to 10 in my case, and I was able to get to 1920 by 1200. Lastly, in the AA and PP tab, you may be able to get away with some post-processing anti-aliasing. FXAA is quite easy on most systems compared to FSAA, which I consider a luxury item. Now when you're running ARMA 3, use Fraps or Dxtra and set the frames per second to 60 or 30 and then check the lock or synchronize frames option. This will get you a V-Sync effect without the input lag and it will help stabilize frame times. This was a process of some time, but the results speak for themselves. Though there's some spiking in that one errant frame that took over 25 milliseconds to render, I'm calling this a success. Something to keep in mind in any frame time variance under the refresh rate or monitor, in my case 60 Hz, which calcs out to 16.67 milliseconds, for all intents and purposes didn't happen. You won't be able to see it because your monitor can't display it. Welcome back to the 21st century. It's not the 2560 by 1600 experience that I would have liked, but it's a lot better than I joked about. AMD's still not out of the doghouse. 